I didn't heard it so many times. You met him in the church and then he did what? <laughs> okay, well, let me get this straight. So you say you met a guy that was saved and he was in the church, right? And then he began to act fool and then you miscomprehend who he was, right? And then you, you thought that maybe he would be all right a little bit later down in the line because you see him shouting in church and then you see him out there in the world talking the world and uh, then you see him talking the word and then uh, hold up, I'm sorry. Then you see him hitting you in the back of your head and then uh, I'm sorry, you mean, then you see him doing so many things that he should not be doing. I'm sorry, you mean, hey, first of all, let's stop it. Because he's in church, you mean that you was going to cop and he made it right? Matter of fact, I want to let him step to me unless I knew the spirit in them anyway huh and then when i saw that unlevel on that carnival in that stage play i would have dismissed it like it was somebody from yesterday john jay and bombay ain't got nothing on this conversation because yeah just because he's in church i mean that he got a carnal plan oh hold up i'm sorry you want to make him your man you still in denial of this undeserving type of fella this undeserving type of relationship that's only going to make you bitter and toxic in the end you're going to be so messed up from this then we got to rehealed you get you back in posture and get you ready for your man of god what you call your boy ass i don't know what you're calling right now because right now you're doing something lower than those i know that don't even want to comprehend those aspects and those mindsets so i'm just going to say let's say this conversation again you met somebody in church and he said what and he did what and he was saved and then what happened again Mm, i'll wait